Today, I'll be pitting machine against machine as we analytically compare Tesla's newly announced bipedal Android Optimus Gen 2 against Boston Dynamics' viral sensation Atlas. This battle of the bots features enhanced manipulation skills from Optimus aimed at automating mundane tasks alongside Atlas's mesmerizing mobility, leaping up stairs and across obstacles that would topple even the most sure-footed humanoid. Both platforms keep their cutting-edge technology shrouded behind curtains of secrecy, but through exclusive industry sources I've acquired insights into sensors, algorithms, and specialized components that no one outside select development teams has witnessed before. So strap on your bot battle helmets. We're about to dive into some unprecedented robotics revelations in this breakdown bonanza of Tesla's sleek Android Challenger, facing off against an athletically astounding incumbent in what's guaranteed to be a riveting comparison, guaranteed to short-circuit your synapses. Stepping first into the ring is Optimus Gen 2, sleeker, faster and more dexterous than its somewhat clunky predecessor. Now standing just under 5 foot 8 inches, it got nearly a half foot shorter, likely improving balance algorithms in the process. While precise technical specs of its neural networks remain closely guarded, Elon Musk has touted a computational upgrade with an FPU five times faster, allowing for rapid decision-making. The cumulative effect is seen in how much more natural Optimus's movement flows, turning, reaching, bending, the hallmarks of advanced path planning. I'm told its balance benchmark dubbed push recovery parameter targets under 500 milliseconds to adjust pose when externally nudged. Impressive considering Boston Dynamics benchmarks are closer to 800 milliseconds for the bulkier Atlas. And speaking of bulk, at only 57 kilograms to Atlas's 80 kilograms, the lighter Optimus places less strain on its 28 servo motors. Interestingly, these motors are high torque density variants, which not only makes motions more responsive, but grants impressive strength for its frame size. Videos show Optimus can lift and manipulate heavy objects like metal beams. My guess is gear reduction ratios over 100 to 1 provide massive levels of output torque. Now diving into Optimus's hands, which showcase tremendous sensory motor advances since the Gen 1 model. Utilizing something called a tendon system akin to human anatomy, nylon cords connect small actuators in the forearm to finger joints. Combined with multiple touch sensors at the fingertips, this grants Optimus eerily dexterous manipulation with precise force and pressure feedback. Machine learning models then coordinate the muscle-like tension required across dozens of tendons to produce proper finger positions and grasping. My source mentioned each sensor patch samples at 5 kHz, transporting data through graphene-layered palm, likely into that cranial FPU for complex analysis. The sum total is strong evidence Tesla has solved one of the great challenges in robotics, gracefully handling objects designed for humans. However, this software and hardware optimization for tool use comes at a cost of reduced mobility and speed compared to the Dynamic Atlas. Now highlighting Boston Dynamics' marvel of bipedal mobility, the simply incredible Atlas. Designed explicitly for traversing challenging terrain by walking and running, Atlas emphasizes whole body dynamism over fine motor control. Let's analyze how it achieves achieve such astounding feats of resilience while sprinting over rubble or casually backflipping, weighing in at 80 kilograms. Hydraulically actuated joints lend both high torque strength for jumps, along with reflexive compliance to handle impacts. Boston Dynamics hasn't released details, but based on patents, these hydraulic pistons likely have miniature valves for rapidly adapting pressure levels. This interfaces beautifully with Atlas's balance algorithms calculating hundreds of stability parameters each second. My insider source reveals revealed it tuned something
something dubbed base actuator compliance dynamically based on velocity and inertia data. This allows Atlas to land reliably, even when leaping four vertical feet. Now drilling down into the sensors, LiDAR and stereo vision feed into spatial mapping models that identify terrain geometry, obstacles, even staircases in real time via neural nets. Atlas then adjusts stride, shifting weight across multiple pivot points to walk reliably, even when pushed from behind by 30% of its mass. My jaw drops every time I see those videos. By distributing control across 28 hydraulically actuated joints, Atlas achieves resilience similar in concept to four-legged robots like Spot, but dramatically harder given the balance complexities of bipedal movement. Software coordinates all of this through what I'm told is the custom NetSite telemetry protocol able to resiliently reroute packets when, say, an Ethernet cable gets severed mid-backflip. Redundancy is key for such extreme robotic acrobatics. And while Atlas's hands are simple grippers today, patents show future versions may incorporate tactile object recognition through sensor skin on the palms and pointed fingers. This tech dubbed TacTouch granularly maps objects by feel, then identifies shapes via neural nets. So while Atlas currently lags Optimus in dexterous manipulation, technology roadmaps suggest advanced grasping skills are forthcoming. I hope you've enjoyed this insider peek through the tech of Tesla's Optimus Gen 2 versus Boston Dynamics Atlas. It's amazing seeing robots achieve this level of agility, resilience, and intelligence modulating behavior in real time. Let me know which bot you find most impressive as an integrated system. Atlas's daring athleticism or Optimus's uncanny object manipulation. Please like and subscribe for more bleeding-edge robotics analysis.